You will always have a second home, and it's called Pally. And this home, our home, will always be here for you. The memories you've created with your friends, teachers, coaches, counselors, and the love that has brought you together as a class will forever remain. And while this moment is officially your last event on our campus, we hope you will understand that this home is not going anywhere. You are always welcome here. And because you have touched so many of us in so many ways, you have made us the great school that we are today. And we continue and get stuck in the cycle of not truly appreciating and realizing how special a moment is until we reflect on it years later. And now what I've realized many years after I watched that quote from the office that still catches me in my feelings today is that the way to know you're in the good old days before you've actually left them is to recognize we are always in the good old days. We were always living them. Approach each day knowing that it is great and what you are about to experience will eventually become a treasured memory. There are good days in the past. There are good days right now, like this graduation ceremony that we've waited 18 years for and nearly 13 years of schooling for. And there are so many more good days awaiting us in the future. Every single graduating senior you see today is about to embark, embark on a new journey in our chase to achieve our goals, whatever they may be. But like myself, don't get so fixated on the destination of where you want to be that you completely forget to enjoy the journey that takes you to where you are today. but now I see the beauty in the imperfect. It's what you make out of your experience that matters, not whether it's perfect. No matter where you go, a CSU, a UC, Ivy League, community college, no school at all, there is a place for everyone. And today I can say that I have found mine. To be frank, you can love Pally, but Pally may not always love you back. Pally has helped me find my voice and went to use it for the service of the oppressed, even if that person was myself. From having to prove that I speak English to showing that my culture is not harmful and protesting that my own culture should not be controlled by others, my path was a little rocky, but Pally has helped me find my passion for social justice. to my economics teacher, Mr. Blackburn's room. <laughs> it was March 13th, the day before students across the country marched out of their classrooms to stand in solidarity with the survivors of the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School shooting. I am a photojournalist. If there's a big school event occurring, you know I'm nearby with my camera strapped around my neck. I snap a few hundred photos, release them to the public, and get the message out to them. 